serious problems related to management and command in the Russian army were revealed. The strengths of the Russian army include its air force and the number of personnel, while its weaknesses lie in leadership, morale and inability to conduct ground operations, White House National Security Spokesperson John Kirby said. Putin still has a sizable amount of his air force available to him, a sizable amount of his ground mechanized capability available to him, said Kirby. And of course, while his navy has been challenged in the Black Sea, it's really only been the Black Sea fleet that has been affected. Kirby pointed out Russia's advantage in manpower and that Russian President Vladimir Putin, unlike Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky, does not have to answer to his society for significant human losses. He has gone through an enormous amount of manpower in the last two years of war, and we know that he's going to continue to try to throw manpower at it. Kirby added, regarding Russia's weaknesses, Kirby identified command, control, leadership and morale as abysmal and absolutely at the dirt floor. That's why Russia relies on strikes from a distance, according to Kirby. When they engage the Ukrainian forces on the ground, they're not having much success, said Kirby. For the so-called Ballyhooed counter-offensive that they were going to launch themselves, they've really achieved nothing in recent weeks and months. The Russian army still hasn't learned the lessons that a modern army should have learned after two years of war. Kirby reminded that Russia is forced to turn to other countries to replenish its supplies of artillery shells, missiles and drones.